Jessica lived in a world where hand hygiene was of the utmost importance. In fact, it was the only thing that mattered. Everyone in this world had to wash their hands at least every few hours, or else they would be shunned by society. This obsession with hand cleanliness had started as a reasonable precaution against the spread of germs and diseases, but over time it had become an all-consuming passion that dominated every aspect of life. Jessica was born into this world and had always lived by the rule. She washed her hands every few hours, using warm water and soap, making sure to scrub every inch of her hands for 30 seconds before turning off the water and drying them on a clean towel. She even kept a log of when she had last washed her hands so she wouldn't forget. At first, Jessica found joy in her daily routine, feeling proud of herself for being so diligent about her hand hygiene. But as the years passed, she began to feel trapped by the constant need to wash her hands. She started to notice that some people were not washing their hands as frequently as she did, and this made her feel anxious and uneasy. How could they possibly expect to stay healthy if they didn't take care of their hand hygiene? Jessica's obsession with hand hygiene started to affect her relationships with others. Her friends and family began to avoid her because they found her constant need to wash her hands to be annoying and intrusive. They would invite her to social events, but she would always decline, citing the need to keep her hands clean. She even started to turn down job opportunities because she was afraid of not being able to maintain her hand hygiene standards. Despite the isolation she felt, Jessica couldn't stop herself from continuing her rituals. She had become so focused on hand hygiene that she had forgotten how to enjoy life. She had lost touch with her friends and family, and she had become so consumed by her obsession that she had forgotten what it was like to have a true connection with someone else. One day, while out on her daily walk, Jessica saw an advertisement for a spiritual retreat that promised to help people find balance in their lives. She felt drawn to the idea of finding peace and inner harmony, so she decided to sign up for the retreat. The retreat was held in a beautiful, secluded location surrounded by nature. Jessica spent her days meditating, practicing yoga, and attending workshops on mindfulness and self-care. She felt a sense of peace and tranquility that she had never experienced before. It was during one of the workshops that Jessica met a wise old man who saw the damage her obsession had caused. He gently took her aside and told her that there was more to life than just hand hygiene. He encouraged her to find balance in her life and to focus on the things that truly brought her joy. Jessica was taken aback by his words, but she knew he was right. She slowly began to scale back her obsession with hand hygiene and started to reconnect with the people and things she had lost. She started to go out with friends again, and she even started a new job that allowed her to pursue her passion for helping others. As time passed, Jessica learned that there was more to life than just hand hygiene. She found joy in connecting with others, exploring the world around her, and discovering new passions. She realized that proper hand washing techniques were important, but they were not the only thing that mattered in life. In the end, Jessica's journey taught her that balance and harmony were the keys to a fulfilling life. She learned to embrace her quirks and obsessions, while also finding room for growth, self-care, and joy. And she knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, she would be able to face them with a renewed sense of purpose and happiness. What was Jessica's obsession in the world she lived in? Jessica's obsession in the world she lived in was hand hygiene. She was consumed by the need to keep her hands clean at all times, and this had become an all-consuming passion that dominated every aspect of her life. How did Jessica's obsession affect her relationships with others? Jessica's obsession with hand hygiene started to affect her relationships with others. Her friends and family began to avoid her because they found her constant need to wash her hands to be annoying and intrusive. She even started to turn down job opportunities because she was afraid of not being able to maintain her hand hygiene standards. What was the advertisement Jessica saw that changed her life? The 
The advertisement Jessica saw was for a spiritual retreat that promised to help people find balance in their lives. She felt drawn to the idea of finding peace and inner harmony, so she decided to sign up for the retreat. Who did Jessica meet at the retreat who had a profound impact on her life? At the spiritual retreat, Jessica met a wise old man who saw the damage her obsession had caused. He gently took her aside and told her that there was more to life than just hand hygiene. He encouraged her to find balance in her life and to focus on the things that truly brought her joy. What did Jessica learn at the end of her journey? At the end of her journey, Jessica learned that balance and harmony were the keys to a fulfilling life. She realized that proper hand-washing techniques were important, but they were not the only thing that mattered in life. She found joy in connecting with others, exploring the world around her, and discovering new passions. She knew that no matter what challenges lay ahead, she would be able to face them with a renewed sense of purpose and happiness.